Hello and welcome to Linux Leech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an Ubuntu installation CD. So let's get started. Okay, the first step you want to take is to open up your web browser and go over to www.infrarecorder.org. So we're going to use Infra Recorder to actually burn the Ubuntu image to a CD. So to get a copy of that, we just go over to the downloads page link over here and click on that. And as I'm running Windows 7, I'm going to just download this installer over here. And I'm going to save that to my desktop. Okay, while that downloads, let's go over and get ourselves a copy of Ubuntu. So if you just open up a new tab and go over to www.ubuntu.com and we're going to go and click on this download link over here and we're just going to click on the download and install link just over here. Okay, so I want the latest version and 32 bits is fine for me so just click on the start download button here and I'm going to save that to my desktop okay so while that's downloading I'm just going to pause the video here and come back when it's done okay so Ubuntu has finished downloading and so has our infra recorder so the first step we're going to take now is to install infra recorder and select the language English is good for me so I'm going to click OK and then we're just going to click next and agree to the terms and conditions and yes a full install will be fine so just click next and install okay so it's finished installing so we're just going to click close and as you can see on the desktop there's the shortcut so now what we're going to do is we're going to launch Infra Recorder and we're going to click on the right image button just over here. Now um, a box has popped up asking us to basically point to where the image is that we want to write to the disk and it's just over here on my desktop, Ubuntu 11.10. So I'm just going to click on that and click open and as you can see here I can't click the OK button to actually start writing the disk that's because I haven't got a blank CD in at the moment and it says up here please insert a blank CD is what that says so I'm just going to put one in now and just wait for Infra Recorder to pick that up should only really take a few seconds, doesn't really take that long. And by clicking this refresh, um, it's detected the disk. So now we can actually start changing some of these settings. Um, there's only one setting that I'd recommend changing. Um, as I only want to write one copy, I'm just going to leave this as one, but you could write up to 10 copies if you want. The setting that I'd recommend changing is the write speed. Now, in my experience, it's never a good idea to write anything at the maximum speed that your drive can write at. Because you may want to put the CD into another CD-ROM drive or DVD-ROM drive and it may not be able to read it due to the speed that it's been written at. Um, I've encountered this problem quite a few times and generally the thing that fixes it is by just writing at a slower speed. So I'm just going to click on 16 times. Um, you can, by all means, write it at maximum speed if you're just going to install it on the computer that you're writing the CD with. Um, but just from experience, I always write CDs at a slower speed. Um, it just saves me hassle. So now that's done, we're just going to go ahead and click OK. And 
the burning process has started. So while that works its magic and burns the CD, I'm just going to pause the video now and come back when it's done. Okay, so the CD has finished burning and the disk drawer has ejected. So we're just going to click OK because everything was done successfully. And there we go. The CD is burnt. I'm just going to put it back in and uh, go to my computer. Just wait for it to boot up. Yep, there we go. The CD works perfectly. There's the Ubuntu symbol over there. And there we go. So now we are ready to install Ubuntu from a CD. So that's the end of that tutorial. Thanks for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow Linux Leech over on Facebook and Twitter. Links are on the screen now. And as always, the show notes are available over at linuxleech.com. Thanks for watching and goodbye.